Good morning and welcome to a day with me and these two. So it's just after 9am. Normally I don't sleep this late but last night I had one of my quite infrequent migraines. I don't get them very often. When I do I just have to go to bed and just sleep it off. I did throw up my dinner and was not feeling very well. It just kind of goes from my head into my tummy and just makes me feel feeling a lot better today. And I've slept a long time. So I'm just gonna do my usual now and have my decaf protein coffee. Today is squat day. Let's see how we get on. I'm fueled by patisserie and croissants and everything I ate last week. So, so my protein coffee consists of 40 ml of the coconut almond milk, about 10 grams protein powder, and some decaf coffee in my DeLonghi machine. Okay, the situation. Roxy appears to be using Bailey as a chair as she licks the bed. What the hell? So I've just gotten a delivery from Adidas and these are amazing. These are the tubular viral from Adidas. I am a size four. They're pretty much standard fitting. I have these already in black with the cream sole. I kind of love the gray ones because I think they'll go with more of my leggings and stuff. So yes. And I got them on sale and were an extra 20% off. So score. So comfy. I walked around the entirety of Paris in my black ones and I got no blisters, no chafing. They are perfect. So I love them. Yeah, I'm gonna get them in every color. Part of my daily routine is to look after Lex as well. So I've gotten into the habit lately of making him some furniture muesli. I make up two days worth and just store it in the fridge in some Tupperware. There's a video in my kitchen diaries of how to make my furniture muesli. If you're looking for any of my recipes, a lot of them are in a separate little section called the kitchen diaries and I've done them all up with their macros and everything. Here we have just fresh fruit salad with strawberries, pineapples, blueberries and some mandarin. And then we have some birch and muesli with some fresh banana, honey and some chopped nuts on top. And then I make him his standard English brew of tea. Lex and I work as a team. So that means if I can prepare the food for him, it helps him work more efficiently. And then he does a lot of other things for me as well. Like he'll help me with my videos and he helps me with my content. So we work together as a team to put out good content together. It's not like... I am running around after him like a slave. I enjoy looking after him. I enjoy making him food and it makes us more productive if I do what I'm good at and he does what he's good at. So sometimes in a relationship, you have to do things for the other person to help them along the way and vice versa. Now I am going to go and wake up Lex with his cup of tea. Not that he's the grumpiest morning person, but it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue Lex in his pants. <laughs> so I'm equipped with my water and it's that time of the day again. Oh. Cardio. I'm in the health app on my phone, just finished my cardio and we'll see. I've done 4,138 steps. I'm aiming for about seven to 8,000 a day. Eat your fruit, Lex. Makes you grow into a big boy. Just about to hop in the shower post cardio. And my hair, obviously I've got my extensions in now and the only maintenance I've really been doing is that I brush it a lot more, just get the knottiness out. And when I get in the shower, I've purchased this rather attractive shower cap to keep my extensions dry and to be honest I'm finding it very easy to maintain if anything it's easier than my regular hair because it looks more kind of styled all the time so I'm giving my extensions a big thumbs up ready for the day I just ran the GHD over my hair to give it a few little waves and 
I got my new trainers on. Boots. Right now I'm going to take all my vitamins and minerals. I've gone through it all before. I've got some BCA, some DIM, some vitamin B complex, zinc, selenium, vitamin D3. We've got vitamin C here mixed with some bina in a nice big pint of water. And this all goes down the hatch. So you can totally shop around for the best value vitamins and supplements online. The price comparison website I use is Subs Compare. I'll link it down below. It just gives you the best price of what you're looking for online. Now we have breakfast, so I'm going to be having some porridge oats by Flavins. I buy these when I go home or in one of the big Tesco's because they're my favourites. So I've got some high fibre bran. And then I'm going to add in some Quest peanut butter because that's my favourite flavour. And then on top I'm going to add in some more powdered peanut butter. And then it makes it peanut butter delicious for breakfast. So I've spoken before about setting yourself really simple goals um, for the week and just ticking them off as you go. One simple goal that you can set for yourself is to drink enough water. I know it sounds obvious but drinking enough water can help boost your metabolism, it helps satiate hunger pains and um, it helps with your skin, your hair, everything. So just set yourself the goal of drinking enough water. I'm talking about three litres of water a day and if you can get a little bit more in and just make sure you drink enough water on your rest days as well because I know that when I'm in the gym I definitely drink enough water but when I'm not I kind of forget. Orange oats drizzled in some powdered peanut butter mixed water. So I'm not sure if you can see but I'm still rocking my Invisalign. So when I eat my meals, I'll just pop them out and then I eat. And my teeth are so much more improved. I think I've got about two weeks left. Two weeks left on my Invisalign and then um, on this course. So we'll have to see if I need more work done. Sorry for this weird log. Uh, but a few people have been asking for an update on my Invisalign. So I am on the final course. I've got two weeks left, so two more liners. I changed them tonight. And they are so simple and, again, invisible. Did you even notice I had them in? So I'm just going to make my pre-workout coffee. So we're going for some coconut almond milk. Uh, Lex is choosing the caramel flavoured pod. So I've been sent through some of these from the TKRG Living and there's a link below for 10% off but it's just all the zero sugar skinny syrups for your coffee. So Lex is going for the salt caramel which is nearly gone but we've got a spare one. And then I think I might go for the white chocolate. Yum. This one is a maple bourbon pecan. I literally smells like bourbon. I don't know how there is an alcohol in it. I don't know how strong it's going to be though, taste wise. Maybe I'll try. So we've got salted caramel and the maple bourbon pecan. Coffee for two. So the maple bourbon pecan actually just tastes like I put bourbon in my coffee. It's not very sweet, it's more like... I think they're lying. I think it's spiked. I don't understand how there can't be alcohol in it. I reckon they're like, just don't put it on the label. Just, just don't put yeah. it on the label. Because it's not very sweet, but if you like, if you like boozy coffees, it definitely tastes like an Irish coffee. But no, less of you the... You Irish coffee. But less of the kind of maple-y um, pecan taste. All I'm getting is the bourbon. So, in conclusion, if you like boozy coffee, go for that one. How about you, Lex? Are you liking your salted caramel? I like it. This is, this is caramel. Yeah, salted caramel with right. um, a caramel pod as well. You put salted caramel flavouring in a caramel coffee? Yeah. Yes. It's double caramel. Works. So I'm just heading out to the gym, it's squat day and then I'm going to follow it up with some hamstring curls and some sumo squats and some straight leg dumbbell deadlifts. Enjoy the footage.
see I'm growing up, learning about how my mind works. Starting up the day, looking through my 49 shirts. This works, grab a towel, freshen up, cup of coffee, take a seat, and really start waking up. I got a open mind when it comes to life. I have a plan, and my plan is to live it right. I've seen a lot in my eyes through my visions. What can happen fast if you really start tripping? People have their ups, downs, lows, and that's just how it goes. I tell them, yeah, life is a bitch, and that jealousy woes. Chilling with a couple hoes from the north side, right around town, smoking us on Lake Shore Drive, cruising exhibits, air smelling fresh, and the vision is vivid. You gotta see how we live, and I think we really go and get it. Set my life on cruise control, I got my tunes turned. Hey, go, go, go. workout complete I got through my squats I didn't go up in the weight today I just wasn't feeling the strength so I think hopefully next week I will be able to increase my weight as I said before it's not all about how heavy you're lifting it's about hitting the form and getting it right and I prefer to be not increasing my weight for me I'm just getting there I'm getting there slowly and I'm just going at my own rate rather than comparing myself to other people so I hit up squats then seated hamstring curls followed by some sumo squats and some straight leg dumbbell deadlifts I have increased my abs I've added in a few extra exercises as I've gotten stronger and you've seen that some of the exercises are a bit more demanding so if you're new to ab training maybe go back through my old videos and look at the kind of lighter more easy Easy exercise gym and I'm just checking how many steps I've done and boom and I have hit my 7,000 steps so over the course of the rest of the day I'll probably hit another couple of hundred and that's me done with my cardio for the day yes so now I'm gonna have a snack I'm just gonna have some of the quest salt and vinegar protein crisps with some chicken and if you haven't tried this yet the Chipotle Ranch Walden's Farm is the best ever. I got it from Muscle Food, you can also get it from Alden's Farm and it is just yum. I'm gonna have that as a dip for my chicken and chips. Simple snack. Everything does not need to be a gourmet meal when you're hitting your macros. Right now I'm just preparing dinner. I'm just making some chicken fajitas with mixed peppers and onions and I'm using some old El Paso fajita mix and it's just convenient and handy and we have a tasty meal out of it. So here we have the chicken all diced up, we've got some mixed peppers, onions all covered in the fajita mix and then for Lex I have the old El Paso tortillas and for me I've got the low carb Joseph's ones. So I'm going to make up a salad just for in the wraps of lettuce, tomato, then we have some 0% total Greek yogurt in lieu of the sour cream. I have some Asda hot salsa. I like it hot and spicy. And then I'm just going to grate some of the muscle food lifetime jalapeno cheese for on top. So here we have it all ready to go. And quite a simple recipe that you could have for a meal for you and your whole family regardless of whether you're dieting or not. No one's going to know any different. The thing to remember about flexible dieting is that anyone can do it and you can incorporate it into everyday life so if your husband is bulking, if you've got kids who are fussy, you can work around that and make meals that the whole family and you in a couple or you on your own can enjoy. It's all about being inventive and just being clever and smart with your food choices. So here we have two fajitas all nicely weighed out and that didn't take very long and Lex will be able to have it too. Easy peasy meal. It's 8.30 p.m. and I'm just sitting on the sofa relaxing with my pink lemonade zero. And I am addicted to how to get away with murder. So I'm on series two, nearing the finale. I think I've got a couple of episodes of series three. I am loving it. What do you think, Rox? You a bit scared? Are you worried about what's gonna happen? Or are you just looking for crummies? Bailey, oh yeah, you 
you gonna mind mommy during how to get away with murder? Well, it's very scary. It's very scary. Alex is home from the gym. Good workout. New super secret training workout. And I've got lactic acid from about here to here. What about that dinner though? Yep, so this looks good. Although I can confidently say this is not beard friendly. I did get it in my extensions. <laughs> <laughs> imagine us, imagine seeing us at a restaurant. You with food in extensions, me with just dribbling my beard, just laughing away. They probably think they're two special people out on a date. Ah, oh, look at them, aren't they doing well? <laughs> Getting out and about. Final meal of the day, and I'm having Yogland hazelnut frozen yogurt, which I get from Muscle Food. I'm topping it with some pancake syrup. And to finish off my macros, I'm having one of the salted caramel pop shots. So I hope you enjoyed my video, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And hit me down in the comments below if you want recipes for anything in particular that you fancy. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe.